again, I had to pause it because I had to take a phone call from my doctor. So, paused it right during the good part. But I put 2.5, so we're going to go with episode 2.5. Please like, subscribe, friend, and all that stuff. I just hit this guy with, I think, four 1,600-ton bombs or whatever. Or pound bombs. Not ton. That would be insane. Um, that would be a cool bomb, though. I think, uh, I think, I think I'm gonna get me a destroy or a battleship. So they got eight guns on this, and they've got these are single guns. Yeah, they got single guns down here, and they got the weird ones, the ones that are inside the ship. That's like kind of like this is an older battleship, I believe. Probably doesn't have a lot of AA. I might be getting the fires under control though. That's not good. And how fast is he going? He's still going pretty good, so his engines are fine. Well. He's not list. He's not tilting any. Like, I think this this guy can do some seaplanes too. Where do they come from? I don't see it. Oh, that crane right there, probably. It's another thing is like I would. Ship designers consistently <laughs> like heavy cruisers. I would heavy cruisers and battleships. No seaplanes would be on them. Just cr make Pacific sea paint light seaplane cruisers. And I think it'd be a better. A better mix. I don't know. It's a common problem with like large industrial complex stuff. They want multi role, multi mission, and Usually, that's a bad idea. It's better to go probably big high. Well, that's not going to get me a sinking, but I got me some, quite a bit of damage. And I don't think I even lost anybody. I lost one. Moderate. All right, you return to base, you bad boy. But you are going to continue this way until you find that bad boy. Even though I think you only have three planes. Yeah. You guys have some redemption to do here, guys. Oh no, you want to go down. And then you want to floor it. And then you want to form up. Alright. Oh, nice. Right there, too. Just, just go right in, boys. Just go right in. Oh no, he's turning. Don't do this again. Don't do this again to me. Oh, 
I need me a sunk battleship. Or at very minimum, a sunk cruiser. Drop your bombs. Drop, drop, drop them. I'm gonna get screwed. Because my guys suck. I might get this guy, though. Or not. Well, two on this guy is not bad. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That was quick. I'm pretty sure he had some uh, damage before. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at him go down. I don't remember my planes having this much problem torpedoing ships. Maybe they gave an update where they made the ships smarter, where they take evasive actions faster. There you are. No, that's not you. Oh well. Beautiful. Look at him go down. All right. Well, I think I can uh, retreat and take my little vacation here. Yes, confirm. You need to return to base. You've been a good boy. And it's only 8 a.m. Alright, what's going on with the rest of the forces? you rest up and get me more planes ships here what are these ships here no stop you know what we're gonna start the let's annoy the Japanese like a lot We'll just start annoying them with that. I mean, technicality. I think we invaded the that island first anyway. And we took out that seaplane base.
Well. I guess we'll let them rest up. Get me another play tomorrow morning. I want my money, man. It's almost five. Oh, sweet. You've already you've already got the plan. What about you? How's your how you feeling, Mr. Avenger? You know what, Mr. Avenger? You need to just go this way. And let's hope you get something to eat. And then we'll get Mr. Get Mr. Wildcat. And we'll send Mr. Wildcat this way to search that area. And then they're going to sink my guys. And these guys aren't finding shit. I always have. I'm always happy if this bomber finds something. begun I'll just drop troops and supplies half and half It's just so much faster to do it this way, though. If you're going back and forth from here, for some reason they, they have subs that love this trip. But not this trip, for some reason. But they occasionally meet up right there. Troop. Supply. Troop. Supply. sucks. It was a bad feeling there's going to be someone in the middle of the night in here. Ooh, I got paid. New seat. USA. Light cruisers. Brooklyn. Atlanta. Oh, they got eight of these. Man, four works for me. I like this. 
let's manage cargo. You're going to get troops, supply, troops, and troops. And you're going to meet up right here to join forces with that guy. <laughs> and you're going to continue doing your same little troop task. And then eventually, I'm going to buy three more heavy cruisers to add into you. Maybe a battleship if I can afford it. Probably can't afford it, though. Alright, you've been given your marching orders. And you're going to go there and you're going to get more stuff. And we're just going to hope you don't get sunk. But I want another... I want a bigger airfield there. And you're going to give it to me. Oh yeah, that's so quick. Now we're about 50-50. Yep. And what's funny is, like, he'll run out of cargo. Look at that supplies go. So I need to make, I need to start making heavy supply runs. Uh oh, what's over there? I mean, there's something over here. Always a good sign. Really like that guy to get his shit in together. Oh man, stupid phone calls. It's good though, because I don't have any issues. Alright, you can get down here and meet up with your sister ship now. And they're going to take supplies only for a while. But, Florida is pretty safely in our hands right now. I think it'll be in our hands completely. You can't. Uh-oh. I would like this ship not to get caught by something. No, not this one. The other task force. You're going to unload all and go back here and get supplies.
Hopefully we have them. That would be embarrassing. And you're going to join up with this guy. As soon as you load cargo. Manage cargo. Atlanta task force and eventually this will be eight Atlantas and like two destroyers and even if they decide to we're gonna sh we're gonna sink you through air power you are not sinking this task force through air power you'll damage some ships but they will shoot you They'll shoot down the majority of your air force every time. No, it's not moving. That's why. It's like, what's going on? And it's after nighttime. Hey, I even get to make a nighttime run too. Uh oh. Which one's 19? <sighs> I love this. get attacked by a sub you all are going this way you break form up are going this way And floor it. <laughs> ah. Turn sharper. We gotta stop this. Break formation. You need to go this way full speed. You are going to turn into it. You are going to turn into it. And you are probably gonna get hit. Take this and right full freaking rudder, man. You, dude. All right, break right full rudder. No, no, center, 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 center. Break. Float in reverse. 
right through the middle. Yeah. Suckers. All right. You know, I've been forgetting to turn my radars on. All right, form up, boys. Uh, just to just just to let everyone know I absolutely suck at this Sure Oh, I can't find him now. Did I get him? Nice. Ha ha ha. It's very rare I have a successful submarine guy. Usually I just can't even see him. Like, even when they. Even when I see where their torpedoes are coming, I'll go over there. I can't see their subs. That's going to hurt the Jap Japanese, though. They don't have that cash. Cash money to be doing that. Neither do I, though. Which is funny because, like, even at this stage in the war, we still just had a ton of ships. We just didn't have the right ships. All right. 
Look at that. Look at that. And then when I finally get it. And when I get it, I can uh, go there, drop troops off at Guadalcanal, then go straight to that island and pick up another thousand. So one convoy will be able to take a fair, fair amount of, of ships really quickly. All right, you are there. Let's get you troops. Uh, I guess I'll take 400. I don't want to completely abandon that of troops. Not that I think they're ever going to come and do anything. And that island probably needs... Or that convoy definitely needs to be plussed up. Maybe I'll just make an all-destroyer convoy. Get my two Atlantas and then make an all destroyer convoy or my four Atlantas which will drop two destroyers to that convoy which might be fine I don't know maybe if my planes could sink something I mean I, you guys did sink the cruiser I, I appreciate it but you literally whiffed on four torpedoes no Ten torpedoes. Encounter at Port Morsley. That's annoying. Not much I can do about that one. Unload all. Head back home. And you might make another run with. I hate that. I have shit planes flying everywhere here. At least they're doing it over there. So I need a bunch of supplies, but I got the engineering. So get supplies. I'm surprised I haven't seen a convoy. Look at that. Look at that. Suckers. Alright. Manage. And... And there you go. I might be fine. I might be able to just supply it with these guys. I got... Man, don't ever get nose surgery, man. I'm just telling you. It is not... It is not enjoyable. Oh man, I got 5,100 troops there. 2,500 supplies. Could probably actually use some supplies. No. You're going to go back to the homeland. Because you, you need to give them time to build back up again.
You know, why am I doing? What? These guys have no aircraft? Well, at least they followed my advice. <laughs> yeah, because you'd create a specific class of ship. And if they would have thought far enough into the future, there had been like, we need a class of ship that's fast, that can follow aircraft carriers, and hey, specializes in shooting aircraft down. I would have just, I would have pretty much designed an Atlanta type vehicle. But I probably would have armored it a little bit more. But each carrier probably should have had two or if not four of those. And you just put them right there at the corners, northeast, northwest, all four corners. And you just box the carrier in. And then you pretty much I don't know, like 2,000 meters off or so. So everything is like kind of overlapping. And they have to go through them to get to the carrier. Let's look at that. That's lovely. That is lovely. All right. What do we have here? Mr. Sexy, sexy. Got you another cruiser. Got you some baby cruisers. And it looks like you got supply, supply, and destroyer. All right. Well, I think you boys need to go this way. guys with the torpedoes? No, the Avengers are the guys with the torpedoes. You guys need to just go straight in, man. You got this guy right here. And I'm gonna angle my attack right here. Why? because I might be able to get those guys. Oh, there goes my wildcats. Let's see here. Are they gonna completely screw me this time? Are they turning yet? Looking good, looking good. Drop, 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 drop. 
Huh? Huh? I might get one, might get two. Oh, we get the two. Oh, I might. He keeps going. I might get that one. No. But I might get this guy. That's kind of why I did it that way. Nice. Two fur. I don't know, but this guy might. He's got a nice little fire. Nice little fire. And that guy is dead in the water back there. Say hello to my little friends. Every little bit helps. This is the guy you need to attack. Go, he be going. Oh, he's going 10 now. So he wasn't completely wiped out. I don't know why they suck so much, man. Are Wildcats that bad? Of airplanes? Just attack again, guy. You might as well just die. I don't think I'm going to sink him. Either way, that was the best Avenger run I've had so far. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, just blaze away right by those magazines. Get it out of control. These have pretty good damage control though. So you got four. So four, four compartments, I think. It's just like trying to sink a battleship with like aircraft is. Even if you hit them, they got so much damage control, they can instantly stop four flooding compartments or four fires or five fires, I mean, and five flooded compartments. So you really need to do like, like a four or five torpedo spread all along, all along the side. And you might be able to get that instant stink sink. But you're not getting a sink with just like one or two torpedoes. Moderate? That's it? Oh, that's that guy. And this one is minor. Damn. They hate me. And I lost every aircraft from there. But the bomber is going in. 
Might have some fun with them. Oh, that's lovely. I only got seven bombers. All right. Well, let's go, my friends. Let's go. Is this two? Oh, that is. Yeah, I'm hitting the fresh one. I want to put more of them in the dock. <laughs> Mainly, this will take them out of the fight for X number of months or whatever. So the more ships you can put it in the dry dock, the better. And that's another thing people don't understand. Sinking a ship is great. But if you can damage three ships, or you can damage four ships, and they all have to be dry docked, you're taking up dry dock capacity. Nice. Any more? Ah, uh, dead bomb. God, USA, you suck. Oh, look at that. Look at that little tilt, man. Little gangster lean. I don't even think he's on fire. He did take some flooding damage, though. He's probably flooding a little bit right now. And he's probably pumping them out right now. So, he ain't gonna die. All right. Both moderate. It's just like Here's a here's a crazy thing. You don't want to actually kill your enemies. It's much much better that you wound them in such a way that he'll never come back and he'll be, be a burden on the military. So, leg amputations, arm amputations, anything that will hurt somebody, but let them go back home. Because they have to go through rehab, medical care, drains on their resources, a visual reminder to the populace, like, hey, don't fuck around. And once they're wounded, well, a dead person doesn't scream and cry on the front line. Somebody who just lost his arm or leg is going to scream and yell. And it's going to take soldiers to tie a tourniquet, escort him off the battlefield, and remove him. And then it's going to require transportation assets to get him away from the front lines to the higher, higher roles of hospitals. All that requires people. The more people you can tie up of a, a person's military doing that stuff is less people they can have on the front lines fighting you. So it's actually better not to kill people. Kind of crazy. All right. I'm just sitting there bullshitting. It's just funny like how people like really don't understand shit like that though. Like, I hear people all the time, like, you want to kill people? Like, no, I want to wound them. What are you guys talking about? And then they really get mad at you. And then you discuss, like, morality and warfare and all that fun stuff. It's like, yeah. It's like, that would be preferable.
All right, begin. Start, pause. All right, what do we got here? We got three destroyers. No, that and that. You are going to break, form up. You're going this way, guy. You three. You're gonna break, form up. You're going this way. And you're doing it at full speed. Turn this way. No, break. Turn this way. You break. You need to full speed just straight that way. You'll probably get missed. And you, you need to break. And you need to go full right rudder. Alright, you. You need to squirt the needle. So you need to go like this. Something like that. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna make this. Right full rudder. Stop. Maybe. That hurt. Everybody else made it though. Ah, good job, Pensacola. You suck. All right. Where are you three Yahoo's at? You guys don't have sonar? Oh shit, I only have one destroyer here. Alright, break young young guy. It's time it's time for you to shine.
No, well, at least back in the I can never find him fucking phase. Seriously, I never find the subs. I very rarely see them on the surface. start doing the smart thing and doing individual ships. I'm gonna find him. You know what's funny is like, like most sub captains would be. All right, I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another one. Cause even if you see the the torpedo wake, man. Like a torp a two minute torpedo run up until the the early phase, you ain't killing them. All right. Well, let's fucking leave. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, and I got a long time to retreat. Well, at least maybe I'll find it by the time I'm leaving. It's a big sub. gentlemen i think i'm gonna call this a day thanks for joining please like subscribe follow and all that fun stuff <coughs> but i need to call my parents to let them know all right i will see you all later bye